What is up guys and welcome back to another tutorial, well not really another, this is the first video on my channel really, to installing mods on different games and today we are starting with one of the hardest ones that I've had so far, uh, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 or more commonly known as PVZGW2. Now I'm sure you've all been struggling with Frosty Mod Manager or whatever but if you haven't and you don't know how to mod and this is maybe your first time modding a game, don't worry you're, you're in the right hands when you came across this video. So. Let's get some steps straight. The first thing you'll want to do is have the game on Steam. So, if I open up Steam real quick, we can see that over here, I have already downloaded uh, Plant vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2, the deluxe edition, and I'm not sure if you have a cracked version or like an illegal pirated version online. I'm not sure mods work if you have that kind of version. I wouldn't suggest having one of those anyways. This costed me like five pounds or in us equivalent about six dollars for this game with deluxe edition included so this is all good but not only for deluxe edition because with mods you get with sort of specific mods you get all the characters anyways so yeah the first step you need is to already just install this game on steam or epic games or whatever launcher you would like to use now the next step is to make sure that you have Origin installed. Now Origin is the old app that EA used for launching games, which is basically like the old EA launcher app. Now uh, in today's time you have EA app, I have uninstalled EA app, uh, I will show you guys how to do that in a second, but Origin, it, this mod can only be launched with Origin. So what you'll want to make sure is that I have Origin right here, if I open it up, you guys can see here, right? So. Uh, just just saying you need origin first now if you have EA app I will show you how to uninstall that right now so uh, go on your start menu and type in control panel and then just open that next you'll see this open up if you're on Windows 11 uh, and you want to go over to programs and click uninstall a program then you'll just want to look and see where your EA app is located. Uh, it should have that little EA red looking logo somewhere. And then for example, uh, if I go on CSGO, if you right click it, it should say uninstall. Then you click uninstall. If there are any prompts that ask you, uh, do you want this to make changes to your device? Just make sure you click yes. And it should uninstall in a few, in a few seconds or maybe like a minute or however, uh, depending on how fast your computer is. So that's how you uninstall the EA app. And the second thing make, to make sure is to make sure uh, that the EA app won't install when you open up PVZGW2 on your next time you open it. Uh, you want to go on Steam and uh, find the local files. I, I can do it from here, I think. Uh, I won't, so I'll just go on Steam. Just give me one second. So as you can see guys, I am back on Steam, I've got all my games here, uh, PVZGW2, what you want to do is once you're in your library, right click, manage, and then click on browse local files. And that should lead you to a page here. So here are all of my, so here are all of my files for PVZGW2, as you can see I have the launcher right here. So what you'll want to do is that. Uh, amongst all these files, there is 100% going to be a file. I think it's called. Oh no, uh, not, not not this file. Don't don't just ignore that. You want to go over to the folder of installer. Double click on that. Open that. Then click on origin. Enter or enter that. Then red list. Then internal. And over here somewhere next to this auto run folder, as you can see, I've already uh, deleted this. There should be. A file saying EA app installer.exe or something like that. What you want to do, just maybe right click on that and then click delete, and then that will stop the EA app from installing the next time that you open the game. Because we just need EA app out of this in order to get Origin running. Otherwise, it's going to come up with a bunch of errors and whatever. So, uh, yeah. So now that we've got EA app uninstalled for you guys, now we can go, he go ahead and install Origin. So, how to install Origin is what you want to do is just go on whatever browser you're using. Uh, I'm using Google. So you just go on Google and then what you'll want to do is go onto the top search bar and uh, write in this link. I will leave this link in the description. Don't search up Origin download because that's going to give you something called Origin Fin and that's not going to work. 
Just go on this link and then press enter. Then you should see this very bright orange screen. And what you want to do out of all of here, you want to click on this one in the top left, this origin full on the top left. So uh, if you just go ahead and click on that, and then it should download in a few minutes or seconds, depending how fast your internet is. Then once you've done that, what you'll want to do is open up File Explorer again, and then uh, it should all, the installer should automatically go to your downloads folder if not already. I'm just going to delete all of these files. So in your downloads folder it should be something called uh, Origin Setup.exe or something like that. Uh, so yeah. And then what you want to do is just double click on that and then just uh, install origin just normally and it and they will give you an option to uh, sign in if you have an ea account or something like that then just sign in using your username and password and it should just load in normally uh to origin if there is an error which there shouldn't be uh i could have a solution for that so if you do happen to have an error which i did when i was installing origin uh, it could be sending you into offline mode, which is what I had a lot of the time because asking me to update Do not click update. I repeat do not click update It will glitch out your origin and I'm not even sure if there's an update button What you'll want to do is go back on file explorer and locate your uh, origin Files, I think if I right click on here uh, I can open file location if you guys have Windows 11 I'm not sure if Windows 10 has that but you can open file location So I'm right here, but if you don't know how if you automatically chose to, in, to install uh, Origin onto your PC on the opening setup that I told you about earlier, then uh, if you can't open uh, file location like I, ca like I can here, what you'll want to do if it was open automatically, like I said, is uh, go on this PC. As you can see, this PC is here. Then open up your storage or your C drive or your internal storage, whatever you called it. I've called it my storage. Then you want to go on Program Files x86. That's this is the automatic uh, folder where Origin is installed using that setup. Then you want to find Origin. Here I've got my Origin folder, uh, and here is the EA Core.ini. What you'll want to do is right-click and open. If and if it doesn't prompt you to open with uh, Notepad, then open it with Notepad. And as you can see. Uh, I've got this, but this should open up empty. There should be nothing here uh, So it should look like this guys, okay, so it should look like this empty no code or anything What you'll want to do to stop origin updating and to prevent offline mode or whatever You want to paste this code that I will put in, in, into the description uh, It's the bracket bootstrap bracket enable updating equals false so that so this will uh, prevent Origin from trying to update uh, in the future. So once you've done that, click File and then click Save. And then that's saved. Now you can safely exit File Explorer and then Origin will run perfectly fine. So guys, the next step is to install the Frosty Mod Manager. As you can see, I've already got this uh, installed. Uh, and if I show you, it has all of these files that will enable you to install mods onto Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Now, in the past, I've been a lot of troubles trying to find the, the source for updating the right version. And the best version is Alpha 2. No need to worry about that, guys. There is an easy way. If I just open Notepad, I can show you the link. So what you need to do is go on your browser or whatever browser you use and into an, and into this, this little uh, search bar, you'll want to paste this exact link. I will put this link into the description. I will put all links from this video into the description. Do not worry, guys. Uh, just as long as you drop a like, maybe subscribe as well. I just start this channel with zero subscribers and everything. So that would be much appreciated. So the link that I'm pasting here, this link, https github.com slash, and then all of this, you'll, you'll want to paste this entire link. I'll copy this into your browser. So I've pasted this. Now, as soon as I press enter, as you can see, it's immediately downloading. So no need to worry about anything. I've already downloaded this, so I will just cancel that. Okay, so now that we've got that, save. Uh, 
Hopefully, you should have Frosty Mod Manager installed. If it asks you to install anything or make changes to your device, just click yes. Do not worry guys, it is not a virus. I have this on here. Many people have this. If you search up any other tutorials, it's going to say that you need Frosty Mod Manager. So, once you have that installed, if I open up my Frosty Mod Manager, it will come up with a blank screen. Okay? It will come up with a blank screen. Uh, if I remove this, hopefully it should be good. So, it will come up with a screen like this. Okay, uh, if you have PBZGW2 uh, already installed, easy, just click scan for games. And in a few seconds or minutes, depending on how fast your PC is, it should already automatically find PBZGW2 wherever it is installed. I've got mine on Steam. So if you just select that, then click select in the bottom right corner. Then it will take uh, a few minutes uh, for the first time for me to about 10, 10 or 20 minutes. Just be patient guys, it's going to say, uh, it's going to like load up with a little dialog box in here. Mine loaded up instantly because I've already done this before. Do not worry guys, you just need to be patient when it's loading that. I, I think every single tutorial that I've seen does not mention this. Uh, so I'm saying from now, it's going to take a long time to load this. Only on the first time guys, alright? So after you've done that, uh, ignore these two. It's going to come up empty here, empty on both sides. And on these two sides, you'll be able to... So this is like the main like mod screen and on the left side you'll be able to put mods so once you're here it's very simple you'll just want to find a mod maybe online or on nexus mods or on a discord server that i will show you right now so guys this is the pvz frostbite modding discord server and this is where you'll find all of your modding needs it's got loads of channels general modding discussion or even voice channels if you need any help with the mods many issues or modding or frosty help I'm going to try and see if I've got mine, me here. I'm pretty sure uh, mine, I've, I've got a few messages here, or maybe, because I had a few issues, and I'm just recording this, because I, I want to help you guys online, see there's a few problems here. And people are very nice, and they are willing to help you. Now, if you want to get any mods, you click on user choice or mods over here. Uh, for example, I have this regrown and undead, so if I just click on this file, obviously I'm going to cancel that, because I've already downloaded it. And then once you download any mod from here, it should end in FB mod when you download it. So now that I've downloaded my mod, let's say I've just downloaded my mod, let's say uh, I would go on here. You see, I've got the PVZ regrown undead. So uh, what you'll want to do uh, is just double click on that. And on the right, just ignore this mod up here. On the right, you'll you will see uh, you'll see this little bar. You want to make sure that this box, that this checkbox is ticked, okay? This checkbox is ticked, okay? So once you've made sure that that checkbox is ticked, then uh, you are pretty much ready to go. And how to insert that mod in there, I forgot to tell you guys, is just go here, click add mods, and then go to the downloads or whatever uh, dialogue or folder you downloaded that, that mod to. Just go on it, double click or click open. And then it should up load up here double click on that or and then click on the checkbox and then all you need to do from here is just click launch so i'm going to click launch and it should load in a bit now here is a long bit it will say applying mods so the first time that uh that you load with your mods it will take quite a long time i think this is going to take about five minutes to install all of your mods and then when you open the game, I will show you guys in a sec. It's going to come up with your mods, uh, just all there, and with characters and whatever. This gives you a few variants of characters, and I'll show you guys them. Uh, I also have this mod installed. Uh, I'll, I'll try and leave the link for this below if I remember the link. So yeah, I will be back in a sec to show you how the mod works. I have just loaded in into PPZGW2. And I'm just a normal Citron. I've got no levels or anything. So if you go into the characters, as you can see, I'm I'm a very new account. I'm a very new account, just level three. Uh, I haven't got any levels or anything. And yeah, I've got all. You already get all of the variants. So no need to open any sticker packs or anything. If you guys want all legendaries, all specials, and everything. Uh, then just get this mod please guys okay i will make i'll try to make another video on installing this mod if i get to it maybe tomorrow next week 
Uh, you get all these cool variants. Look, Blazing Citron, Laser Citron, Alpha Juice Citron. You got a few roses as well. Uh, corn. You get all of these corns or whatever plants you want. So you, we've got all of these. And you get Tortured variants. All of the Cat vs. Dinos. Look, you've got some dinos. All of the goats. Special variants of goats. You get some All Stars as well. Penfalon Star, all of this really, really cool stuff. And yeah, you get all the specials and everything. Imp, whatever you want. So, uh, if I just get this, what's this? Uh, if I just get one of the brains, Robo Brains, for example. Uh, ma machine Brain Gun. I don't know why I hear the All Star sound, but good. But yeah, so this mod works perfectly fine, guys. I have tested this for about half an hour, it does not crash. Okay. So yeah. Uh, this mod is really good. You get loads of variants. All unlocked characters as well. Obviously, guys, you can't go online with this. But yeah. Uh, I really hope this mod helped you guys uh, to get your first GW2 mod. Maybe not even your first. Maybe your first ever mod on the game. But yeah. I really hope this tutorial helped you guys. I, I, I actually sincerely hope. The, the entire reason I'm making this video is so I can help people around the world. I had a problem with this and I had the exact same tutorial. I didn't get a tutorial, but I followed the exact same steps in this video, guys. I'm being completely honest. So, I really hope whoever's watching this, uh, good luck on your morning adventure. And yeah, this is OxyPirate signing out. Please drop a like and subscribe. And yeah, until next video, guys.